everybody, today I'll be teaching you how to RNG manipulate your trainer ID and secret ID in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. If you want to do this in the other Gen 4 games, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, please check out the video I've made on them instead. The process is slightly different. All right, without further ado, let's get underway. So why do you want to RNG a trainer ID and secret ID? Well, there's three reasons. One is to know your trainer ID and secret ID at the start of the game so that you could RNG Pokemon along your journey to get shinies or whatever like you want during the playthrough. You need to know your trainer ID and secret ID if you want shiny Pokemon, and because of that, knowing it at the start of the game is very useful. Second, if you want specific spreads to be shiny, Shiny, you need to RNG a trainer ID to make that spread shiny. Something like a 5 IV Pokemon, it can be shiny with multiple different trainer IDs, but the odds of you just randomly landing on one to make that specific IV spread shiny, it's pretty rare. So if you want a legendary or a static encounter like the legendary beasts, or maybe Ho and Lugia to be shiny with specific IVs, you're going to need to do this. And last but not least, of course, you can RNG just a fun custom trainer ID. Something like your birthday or like a meme number or something like that. So it's useful for all three of these reasons, and without further ado, let's get underway with what you're going to need to do. Now, in-game, you're only going to need to do one thing, and that's delete your previous save file. So get to the title screen where I'm at and then hit up, select, and B. Then here, it's going to ask you to delete... Oops. <laughs> it's going to ask you to delete all of your save data, and you're supposed to hit yes. It defaults to the no position because it doesn't want you to accidentally delete this. But you have to delete this, or else you cannot save over an old save file. If you try to like start a new game in Gen 4 and then try and save, it will actually say you can't do this. There's already save data, so you have to delete it. But that's all you actually need to do in game. Out of game, we're going to need some tools and I'm going to go over what you need to do with said tools. So we're going to start with Eon Timer by Das Amphoros. If you take a look in the lower right hand corner of my screen, I've got Eon Timer 3.0. And what we're going to do is open it up and then we're going to go to the Gen 4 tab here. Everything in the Gen 4 tab, you don't have to touch. But then you can go over to the setting cog here and go over to the timer tab within the preferences box. Now, in the preferences box, you're going to want to select your console. So I've got NDS, DSi, or 3DS. Those are your options. NDS encompasses both the original DS Fat and a DS Lite. DSi encompasses both the regular DSi and the DSi LL, and the 3DS encompasses every single 3DS model from 3DS, 3DS XL, 2DS, 2DS XL, new 3DS, new 3DS XL, and new 2DS, and new 2DS XL. It covers all of them. So I'm playing on an original DS, and what we're going to do is just select console and DS and hit OK. That's all you need to do in Eon Timer for now. We're also going to need PokeFinder, and that's the last program we're going to need. In PokeFinder, what you're going to do is select Gen 4, and then if we want a specific spread shiny, what we're going to do is click either Static or Wild. You don't need to RNG a specific trainer ID or secret ID to make eggs shiny. Shiny. Basically, any nature uh, or any gender could be shiny with any TID for eggs because th those PIDs are not tied to IV spreads, right? The problem with wild Pokemon and static encounters is that every PID is locked to a specific IV spread, so your variance on those is very, very low. So we're going to click static here because I want to go for a specific legendary Pokemon. Then in the Gen 4 static window, we're going to select Searcher. Now, in Searcher, you have two three options for method. Wonder card IVs, you have to ignore because that only applies, as it would say, to the IVs of a wonder card. You actually can't manip the uh, PID of a wonder card, and most of them are shiny locked anyway. So method one is for stuff like the legendary beasts who roam, or the gift Pokemon, stuff like the Eevee, or the starters, or the um, the fossils. Method K is for static encounters, stuff like Sudowoodo, stuff like Ho-Oh and Lugia, stuff like Groudon and Kyogre. So we're going to be doing method K in this video because that is what I want. Min delay, 600 is totally fine. You could actually go a little bit lower for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I'll actually set this to maybe like 510 or 500 or something like that. Max delay is basically how long you're willing to wait at the save file select screen. And I set this to around 5,000 usually. Uh, for min advance and max advance, this is basically how many chat up flips you're willing to do. Uh, I usually set this to 100 unless I can't find any results. Now in the filter section here, this is just whatever uh, whatever IVs you want in natures and stuff like that. So I'm going to set out the IV spread that I want for this Groudon specifically. Uh, and then for the ability, Groudon has only one ability, so I'm going to leave it at any. Gender, it's genderless. Uh, shiny, you're going to leave as any because we are going to be making this spread shiny. So we don't need it to show up shiny in this window just yet. Hidden power, I don't want a specific hidden power. And nature, I want it to be brave. Then I'm going to hit search. And we're going to get a few different options here. In addition to that, you'll see that there's this lead section here. The lead section is what, um, what like different type of leads you need. So like a synchronizer or a cute charm or something. I'm actually going to set it to none. I don't want to use any lead on this ground up. And so that drastically reduces my options. So, so you can see there's not even that many of the spread that I want here, right? Um, with that being said, 
we're going to take a look at which one of these might be the best. Uh, and we're going to be doing that by taking a look at their delays. So if we uh, right click any of these seeds and click generate times for seeds, a new window will pop up called the time finder. So this is the gen 4 seed to time. And in here, it's going to tell you your delay. Your delay is basically just how long you're waiting at the title screen. And 3885 isn't such a bad wait either. But I think we might be able to do better. So let's take, take a look at some of the other ones. So if we look at this here, uh, 12 advances is actually too low for me. I don't want to do that. Take a look at this. Generate times for seed. 2709, that's pretty good. This one, 385, I think we looked at that one already. 12 is really low. Like I said, don't want to do that. 4193, that's low. And this one is 2890. So I think the best one is this 22 advanced one for 2709. So we're going to be going for that. So we're going to try and make this specific seed shiny. And what we're going to be doing by that is we're going to hover over the PID here and hit Control D. Then what we're going to do is open up the Gen 4 seed to time win or the uh, Gen 4 trainer ID window. So we'll take a look here and go to TID SID. And there is a bunch of options in here. So in TID SID, we're going to paste the PID that we just copied. Now, if you want a custom ID along with this, you can click the search for TID box. I'll see if I can find anything, but you probably won't find anything. Then click the infinite search button and leave the rest of these blank. If you don't find one within a few seconds, you're probably not going to find one. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to uncheck search for TID and I'm going to hit search again. And then you're going to get a bunch of results right away. So I'll hit cancel. All of these results are pretty much going to be uh, viable. And in fact, the delay here is often incorrect. Uh, so we're going to be ignoring that for now. So you could scroll for, you know, any of these that you think is an interesting trainer ID or an interesting secret ID or anything like that. In fact, I've just found one, two, 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 two. I'll go for that. So what we're going to do is right click this uh, and we're going to copy this seed, uh, hit control C. Then we're going to open the gen four seed to time window. So we're going to do that by going to the main window in Poke Finder and then clicking the gen four tools drop down and clicking seed to time or seed to time will pop open. Then what we can do is paste our seed into the seed section. We're going to make sure we're in the heart, gold, soul, silver, and then we can leave everything else here blank and hit generate. So it's going to give us a delay and a date and time. Now, uh, we can pick any of these date and times that, you know, are fine for us. There's usually, usually I like to check for something maybe around my birthday, see if there's anything like that going on here. Uh, it actually, uh, we do have some on my birthday. Okay, we'll go for that. So we'll go for this one here. Then we're going to turn our DS off and go into the date and time settings. And now what we're going to do is change the date and time to be the one listed here. So that is 2022 uh, with uh, 23 and oops, June. And then we're going to set the uh, time to 23 hours uh, and eight minutes. So once we input our time, we're going to have to uh, edit Eon Timer. Uh, so in Eon Timer, we're going to put the target delay, which is 5033, into the target delay section. Now, the target seconds, you see it says uh, 23. We're actually going to go three seconds earlier just in Eon Timer. So since it's heart, gold, and soul, silver, we're going to do 20 instead of 23. Now, once that's done, we're going to take a look at Eon Timer here. It says minutes before target is 2. So that means in our DS, it says 23 uh, minutes, 8 seconds, like it said here. We're actually going to make that 23 uh, hours and 6 minutes. Then we're going to hit start on our Eon Timer at the same time as we confirm our time in the DS. The reason we need to change the target seconds uh, is just because Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver takes a little bit longer to boot. Uh, and I don't think the, the Pandora's Box stuff is calibrated properly for uh, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. Now, once this first timer finishes counting down, it's going to beep several times. And while it does that, you're going to hit A on the final beep to launch the game. If you're playing on a 3DS or a DSi, uh, what you're going to do is actually load the game up immediately and then soft reset uh, when the first set of timers finishes counting down. All right, now that that's done, we're going to try and play through the game as quickly as we can. Uh, all we have to do is get through the intro to the point where Professor Oak says, I'll see you later. We're going to also make sure to mash the bottom of the touchscreen here where it says no info needed.
So after this, Oak will ramble a little bit, and you'll just get to I see you later. And then that's the last text box we're going to hit. So right here, uh, and when Eon Timer finishes, it's going to beep a few times again. You're going to hit A and go through that. Now, it's okay if you miss your trainer ID on your first attempt. I would say that is expected, but it's okay. Hopefully, you'll be able to get this done in probably like three or four attempts. It shouldn't be too, too difficult. You have to go downstairs to get your trainer card from your mom. Alright, now we can just click that and see what we got. So we got 44187. So we're going to uh, close seed to time and take a look at the Gen 4 TID SID window again. Uh, so the TID I obtained was 44187. The date and time uh, we can edit, uh, but that was... Um, June... 2022. Uh, oh, hello? What happened? June 2022. 23. And the time was 23. 8 minutes. The min delay, we were aiming for 5,033. Five, 5, and uh, max delay... We can leave it at 6,000 for now and hit find. All right, we got one result. So we hit the delay of 5191. We hit massively late somehow, but that's okay. What you can do is copy the delay here. So control C, then go into Eon timer and paste delay hit and then hit update. And it's going to change your calibrated delay. So mine is now 645. In addition to that, if you notice here, uh, I hit an odd delay. Uh, and I was aiming for an odd delay, which is good. However, if you hit an even delay, so if I hit 5192, you actually can't uh, hit an odd delay or an even delay without doing something. And I'll cover how to do that when I get to that section. So now all for, all we do for now is after hitting uh, reset here, we just try again. Uh, so, you know, we updated our calibrated delay. We have the same target and everything like that in Eon Timer. And we're just going to change the time back. We go down here, change this back to 2306, and start again. And I will cut this part uh, until I explain what to do to get from an even delay to an odd delay. Or vice versa, of course. Okay, so this is the part where you change your delay. So during the naming screen, uh, type your name exactly as you typed it before. So I'll type Jake. And then before hitting OK here, before hitting start and confirming it, all I would do is if I wanted to hit an even delay, I would hit upper. I would just click the upper button and that would switch it to an even delay from my current odd delay. That's all you have to do. Uh, if you're playing on Japanese uh, where there's no upper or lower, what you do is you just switch from uh, like hiragana or katakana to like English or any of the other options and you'll be fine. Uh, other than that, we just go for our another attempt. Um, we are... We are aiming for 22222. Two, two, two. Uh, and let's see if we can get it. All right. So now let's check our trainer ID. Uh, 36229. So we're going to leave all this other info the same and type this out. 36229. Hit find. So, uh, okay. It looks like we hit this seed. We were one second... Um, Looks like we were one second late. There are a few ways to deal with that potentially. Um, the one main way to deal with that is in Eon Time, or we were one second early rather than one second late. The main way to deal with that would be in Eon Timer, clicking up here and making our target seconds 21 instead of 20. Because if we hit 22 while we were aiming for 23, we just aim uh, and using 20 as our target second, we just make it 21 instead. Uh, but I only do this adjustment if this happens to me a few times in a row. Everything else we actually nailed uh, perfectly. So we will just try it again. Oh, 
Hopefully I got it that time. Alright, let's see. Uh, 4991, we missed again. Let's see what we got. So, there's a few things here that we can take note of. One, I was one delay late, but that's fine. Because again, we can only hit odds or evens, depending on what we're typically hitting. And since I'm hitting odds, um, like, there is no difference between uh, 5 0. There's only one difference between 5033 and 5035. Um, and so that's a very small difference. I'm not going to adjust for that. But if you notice here, I hit 22 seconds again. And so I'm going to update the target second to 21. So hopefully on my next round, I will hit 22 or 23 seconds instead of 22. Uh, because I hit it two times in a row, I, I think it is worth an adjustment. Typically, like I said, you know, hitting it only once, uh, I, I wouldn't do an adjustment. But because it's shown to be a pattern, I will, I will, uh, I will update it. So here we go again. So, finally, after several attempts, it took me a little bit longer than I would have liked, I have the trainer ID that would get me this spread shiny. So, you're going to want to, first of all, save once you get the proper trainer ID so you, you don't lose all of your hard work. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a profile in Poke Finder. Uh, if we take a look at the um, uh, static RNG window again, so I'll bring that back up. There's going to be this section called Manager. If you click that, a window will pop up talking about profiles. So here you can see all of the profiles that I've got for Gen 4, and we're going to add a new one. So we're going to click New, and this window will pop up. So in here, you just have a few things to fill out. But first off, we're going to change the game. It's still silver. And then you're going to do the Trainer ID and the Secret ID, which is what showed up in the, you know, Gen 4 uh, uh, TIDS ID window. So we were looking for 2222. And we were looking for, uh, and if, if we do that in the, the, the Gen 4, take a look at that in the window. Um, it's 2222, two, 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 so five twos. Uh, and then we take a look at what it was for the secret ID. My secret ID was 38927. 38927. Then for the name, you can name it whatever you want. I'm naming it Jake SS2222. And then I'm going to click OK. And so now the profile. Uh, will be saved, and you can see it in the manager. So I've got it right here. I'll click Done. And what we can do is take a look at Gen 4 Static again. And if we have that profile selected, so I've got it selected here, then I hit Search. You can see I've got these two uh, uh, potential targets as star shinies. So now this spread will shine for me. In addition to that, there's typically a paired nature. So if I click any, and then I set it to star or square shinies, I'll probably get a few more. Yeah, so I've got a relaxed spread that is also the exact same IVs. Usually, these uh, this will pair with another nature, typically. That's usually how it works. So, as you can see, we've got our trainer ID and secret ID that will make this shiny. And the last thing you can do to like triple check that you've done everything correctly is if we uh, close the static window here, we take a look at the TIDS ID window. Uh, what we can do is type the TID here, 22222, and hit find. You can see that's the only possible option. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys get your uh, trainer ID and your secret ID that will make the Pokemon that you want shiny. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video.